Nevada currently has the most extensive and diverse range of stealth, non-stealth, jet-powered and propeller-driven drone systems in the world. The country is preparing in earnest for the Taiwan conflict with a possible showdown with the United States military. The Chinese Tengen TB-001 drone was photographed recently carrying a full load of air-to-ground missile and bomb ammunition, demonstrating the force multiplier effect that unmanned combat aerial vehicles can have on the battlefield. TB-001 is a three-engine medium-altitude long-endurance drone, first launched in September 2017 and has been in service with the People's Liberation Army since 2021. Photos of the drone shared via multiple social media accounts and Twitter show the drone carrying 12 AGM armaments 5 each on each wing and 2 air-to-surface missiles in the launcher racks at the bottom. TB-001 often known as the twin-tailed Scorpion was developed by Sichuan-based Tengen Technology. Distinguished by its twin-tail boom and first launched in September 2017, it has a range of around 6,000 up to 8,000 km and a maximum flight time of 35 hours. It has a maximum takeoff weight of over 3,000 kg and a service altitude of 32,808 feet. It also had an unusually positioned triple propeller configuration, with one on each wing and the other being a pusher propeller at the end of the main fuselage. This flight altitude is higher than the effective interception range of short-range surface-to-air missiles, increasing the operational safety of UCAV. This design joins the top of the two vertical tails to create a flat tail by extending the two tail support sections backwards on the wings, each joining a vertical tail. Flat tail, vertical tail and tail support together form the structure. This layout was used on a variety of aircraft, including the famous P-38 Lightning fighter during World War II. With an electro-optical tracking system directly in front of the ventral missile launcher, the drone can be useful in destroying high concentrations of ground targets by acting as a bomb truck. Being a non-stealth UCAV with a heavy weapons payload, it cannot be expected to reconnoiter, track, and remotely engage targets alone in contested environments, with active enemy long-range surface-to-air missiles, fighter aircraft, and UAV. Incorporating its own electro-optical tracking system along with other friendly stealth drones, fighter jets and ground assets, TB-001 can be summoned to discharge its payload and fly back capable of carrying the type of payload that allows other land assets to be lightly armed and mobile. Or they may also be unnecessary and may be heavily armed, with their support in the form of TB-001 only as auxiliary weapons. In other situations, ground troops can destroy air defenses from the ground itself, while TB-001 destroys bunkers, command centers, and armored vehicles that help seize and hold ground territory. The TB-001 drone can fire a 20 kg AR-2 air-to-ground missile to destroy light vehicles, enemy ground personnel and other targets. To destroy heavily armored targets and fortifications, Chinese developers have also introduced an 80 kg AR-4 air-to-ground missile. The AR-4 has a range of up to 20 km and can be launched from an altitude of 7,000 meters, which is far superior to the US Hellfire air-to-ground missile. The AR-4 can use infrared, TV or millimeter wave search radar. Therefore TB-001 is likely to have great utility in Taiwan operations against ground targets. It has already seen operational flights, first flying over the East China Sea unaccompanied and then flying through the Miyako Strait on board two Shunqi Y-9 aircraft in August 2021.